These things have got a bad reputation. They cause headaches for owners, but they are actually good for the environment. They do increase the quality of the exhaust emissions coming out of your vehicle. We're in the parts room today looking at an EGR valve from a Mercedes diesel engine. One of the most common questions we get on the phone is that one of our customers, they might have the engine light on the dashboard, they might be experiencing limp mode, and they suspect EGR issues. They'll say, can I get my EGR valve cleaned? I think there's a problem. Well, in short answer, no, it's typically ineffective. The reason is, is that on Mercedes diesels, they do get carbon blockages in the intake system, but it's usually down in the intake manifold. Very, very rarely will there actually be much carbon built up on the EGR valve itself. Rather, when these valves do fail, it's almost always for electrical reasons. Looking closer at the EGR valve, up this end, we've got the valve itself. So on this engine, it's got a three-bladed propeller-style valve, which allows the exhaust gases through in varying amounts. It's got a, a coolant gallery, so radiator coolant flows through there, and that helps reduce the temperature of the exhaust gases going back into the intake manifold. And then up here, we've got the electrical section. So there's a large servo motor, which rotates the valve open and close. And there's also a position sensor, and that reads the position of the valve. So when you get an EGR valve failure on a Mercedes diesel, almost always it is either the servo motor or the position sensor that's faulty, both of which require full replacement of the EGR itself.